Okay. Take number one. Mans Mansfield's Stephen Mansfield's Manly Maxims. Stephen Mansfield's Four Manly Maxims. So I've been reading this book by Stephen Mansfield called what is it called? Mansfield's Book of Manly Men. And in there, he starts out with four maxims for men, manly maxims. Today, I'm going to give you Mansfield's four manly maxims. Maxim number one, manly men do manly things. Mansfield says that you know who a man is and what he believes by what he does. Not by what he talks about and posts on Facebook, but by what he actually does. Action, he says, is character, and manhood is action. I'll just let it roll. Maxime number two. Manly men tend their fields. What does that even mean? In other words, men take care of their domain. They embrace responsibility. They realize this room or this house or this car or this job is under my care and I'm going to take care of it the best that I can. I'm going to tend my fields. So manly men know what their fields are and they embrace the responsibility of Maxime number three. Manly men build other manly men. Mansfield says that men naturally imitate each other. So a young boy put him in the presence of an older man and he's going to start copying him no matter what. Manly men will take younger men and just live life in front of them so that the younger men can watch them and they'll start imitating them. That's the best way to create more manly men, to pass on the legacy, to pass on the masculinity. Maxime number four. Maxime number four. Maxime number four. Wait, that's eight. Manly men live to the glory of God. Go. In other words, they live for something beyond themselves. Our adventure and purpose in life transcends life and is eternal and out of this world. Essentially, Mansfield is saying that you can do the other three maxims all you want, but if you don't live to the glory of God, you fall far short of true masculinity. Men need to be strong, but we get our strength from God. He says we become men by living to the glory of God.